Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Cancer. Cancer, we're going to take a look at you and your and your person, the person on your mind, the person you're thinking about the most. Then we're going to take a look at new love coming in for my Cancer singles. Then after that, I will pull some cards for general predictions. So stay tuned with me till the end. If you are interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and how to book with me. And keep in mind that these are general readings. Leave what resonates or no. Don't leave what resonates. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. That's what I was going to say. Okay. What's going on with this person on Cancer's mind? What's their energy towards Cancer? This is showing up as someone from your past, someone things, someone that things are over with. I said that completely wrong, but it is what it is. I'm seeing this being a past person. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, doesn't have to be, but it shows up as some someone who's already like done. You could have left this person. Okay, they could have left you. I don't know, but there's an energy of them wanting to come back. Uh, let me clarify this. What's the Two of Pentacles for? Yeah, they're not sure if they should come back to you or not is what I'm getting here. I'm getting that if they left you for someone else, that did not work out. If that's not your situation, then they're contemplating how to get back with you. Let me see the five of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, this person's full of shit. I'm sorry, Cancer, but this person's intentions are not where they need to be. This is coming off as somebody who possibly walked away from you to chase someone else. I'm getting their energy being like wanting to get back with you because of sexual type of things. Like they they like how you are sexually and they like that you are abundant. I'm not getting this person having energy of actually wanting to work on something. They're coming off as very toxic. They're coming off as something that they're not even sure if they do want you back. They just come off as wanting you back for now. I have to be honest. Let me um, let me see the death card. Yeah, it shows up as this person possibly keeping things from you. I don't know if they had another relationship going on or if they just felt like they were going to do better without you. Like the grass is greener on the other side, but it's coming off as like, no, nah, you made a mistake. That's this person. This is somebody from the past wanting to come back with you. Okay. What's this person's intentions? Let me shuffle. This person's intentions. This person's intentions is a reconciliation of some kind here. They want to reconcile this. It's almost like the energy of this person went elsewhere and they didn't find what they wanted. So they're coming back. Now, if you know that's not your situation, then this is this person walking out on you just because they felt like they were going to be happy or alone. It doesn't necessarily mean that they went towards someone else. So if you don't know that to be your situation, don't make it fit. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Ooh, okay. I am seeing this person wanting reconciliation be careful if this is someone you know to be broke this person is looking at your finances if that's not the case then don't take that but i feel like that's the case for a lot of you 
You're dealing with somebody here who doesn't have their shit together. How does Cancer feel about this person? Give me Cancer's energy towards this person. Cancer's energy towards this person. You want to reconcile to a certain degree here. I feel like there's a lot of thinking about this. Too much thinking about it. My eye is twitching all of a sudden. Okay. I'm getting that you're thinking about this a lot. Cancer. I feel like, oof. See, as I continue to talk, I'm getting like my eye is spazzing out. Okay. I am seeing you wanting to reconcile this. However, however, with the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups, Eight of Swords and Three of Cups, it's almost like wanting something to come out of this that it it's like wanting this grand reunion with this person or thinking about this type of reunion or this type of reconciliation that's going to happen here that's not really going to happen like that. I'm seeing you wanting it like that, but it doesn't come through and actually happening like that. Now with the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups, the reason I see that and I say that is because the Five of Swords is here. So this shows up as self-sabotage for you. Are you thinking about this person so much like you're thinking about this person way too much and you're calling this reconciliation in? It kind of feels that way. I just don't. The way I see it is that you might want this person back. Because you're not seeing all the toxicity that lies within it. It feels like at some point they made you happy. And you're looking at that. You're thinking about the happy times. You're thinking about that. And that's self-sabotage here for you. That's what I've been trying to say. I'm barely getting the words out. You thinking about all the happy times with this person is sabotaging you. Because you're thinking that when you get back together with this person, it's going to all be good. Because they're because they're apologizing because they're back and they want to work on things but i'm not really seeing this person making that effort i'm i'm seeing you thinking about the good times so much that you might just assume this person is going to put in all this effort let me see your intentions so it's not self-sabotage in the sense that you're purposely blocking yourself from having a good connection it just shows up as self-sabotage because when you want to reconcile with somebody or you want something to happen there we have a tendency to think of all the good things and that's self-sabotage because guess what all those good things isn't why that this broke up you know what i mean it's not why this is not working out that's why it comes off as self-sabotage not like what most people think when i say that You have beautiful intentions here, Cancer. You have intentions of... There's a lot of wisdom to be gained from this situation also. Um, I feel like you're a somewhat private person. It's showing me here you want something here to be successful. You want to be happy with this person. It shows me intention in that, but it, it's not... It's not really showing up like that for me. I'm, I'm seeing what you want. I'm not seeing this person being capable. What's the challenge? Oh, man. Commitment. The challenge is commitment. There's no way to put that. The challenge is commitment. The challenge is someone distancing themselves from commitment outcome or advice let me get advice for these two or advice for cancer at least just cancer let me get advice for cancer
Cancer, if you want to be in a stable relationship, stable, committed relationship, something beautiful, and you know that this person already fucked around on you or or left you or whatever the situation is here, and I know that from the cards that I'm seeing, there might be some reconciliation wanted on your part because you remember the good times with this person, but this is calling you to remember the bad times with this person. And remember the fact that this person is not loyal is what it's showing me. It's showing me here, you have new love coming in. However, you're not done healing from whatever this was. If you're still thinking about this person, if you're still um, wondering about this person, you're not ready to meet your person. You see how that works? I'm seeing you meet someone that is meant for you. Now, I'm not going to throw words out here like twin flame or soulmate, but I will say that whatever you were in before, it seems like it was like long term or could have been long term, could have had that type of potential probably didn't work out it was probably a sudden break is what i'm seeing here with the tower maybe a sudden divorce or something like that for some of you just a sudden breakup um there might be a lot of unresolved issues with this situation but in reality i'm not really seeing you wanting this situation back i'm just seeing you thinking about the good times enough that you might allow good times back in but not want the bad times with this person it you get this person back it's all of it your advice is to keep moving forward your advice is to keep healing keep to yourself right now your advice is to give the universe time and yourself time they're not going to put anyone in your path that is meant for you if you're worried about the person from the past a lot of times i get readings and and people will be wanting to read their ex a million times over what's going on with them and what's going on with her and and how is this and how is that and then okay tell me about new love well you're not gonna get new love not one that's gonna last because you're so busy focused on your ex that you're just gonna compare and the cards are asking you to have a clear clear energy away from whoever this is so the next person could come in now, if that's not the reading you wanted, which is probably not, I'm sorry, but that's the reading I got. Maybe if this didn't resonate, catch me on the next one or check your other placements. I'm going to go ahead and see who's coming in next for my single cancers. Who's coming next for my singles, cancer singles? I had to look at the clock because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> the next person coming towards you, I feel like it's it's pretty quickly. Um, you're going to meet this person pretty quickly. I feel like this person has energy of poss possibly already having children with the emperor being here i am getting that this person also could be um a leader in their respective work environment um this person's energy comes off as still reflecting about things from their past that they're going through or that they've been through in the past Durr. let me clarify the seven of pentacles for this person This person is probably either divorced or out of a long-term commitment. And I'm seeing him or her. It doesn't have to be a him. I'm seeing this person, their previous relationship is showing up as someone that was very untrustworthy and probably very um, unstable. 
very irresponsible with money. Clarify the Emperor. Yeah, this person comes off as someone who is possibly having, um, I don't know if, if I want to say custody issues because I'm not seeing custody issues, but they could have a child that lives with them is what I'm seeing or they could they could be looking to move when you meet this person. I'm getting that this person has children already. And if they don't have children, they're going to want children because I'm seeing children here. And you don't see that unless the person either has or wants. Let me see the six or the eight of wands. I feel like this person is very commitment material. And I have, I have this very, very strong feeling that this person is also one of those people who stands up for themselves. Like, I, I'm not seeing this person backing down from anything. As they have a very fiery personality. I feel like um, you are dealing with a fire sign at some point. Maybe Aries, Libra, Scorpio. I have a bunch of signs here, so that, that doesn't even matter. What I am seeing is somebody here who really stands up for themselves. I'm getting someone with a little bit of a temper. So unless you like that, like, I don't know. That's what I'm getting from this new person. Okay, what else can you tell me about this person? What's this person's intentions coming in? Their intentions is possibly a relationship however like i said this person's still going through something or exiting something else there's a lot of reflecting and i get this person being nervous to enter a relationship i'm getting that a lot today so don't feel like you're the only one I'm getting a lot of nervousness from this person any advice for cancer any advice when it comes to this person Two more. Cancer. I feel like you're a very giving person. I feel like you're very loving, okay? I'm going to say this. I feel like in the past, you've had a few types of relationships where you end up doing all the giving where you end up being the one that's like really out there and and um, you're being asked not to do that here. You're being asked to kind of hang back. I feel like in the past you've given so much effort and it's always kind of burned you. It's what it's showing me here. So this is showing me you not giving effort. They're saying don't get burned. Keep your... Um, Keep your emotions in check and focus on your happiness. And the reason I say that is because if this person, because they're coming in as really being interested, however, being nervous, but there's, this is, this is basically telling me that this person needs to show up for you. You need to be at a place where you allow to other people, for other people to open up and show up for you. And I feel like you've shown up for other people and then expect it. It usually doesn't come in. So this is saying avoid the, the, the same patterns you have done in the past and let other people show up for you. Remain emotionally detached and keep your peace. Focus on you. This person and any other person are going to have to prove it to you. That's your advice, okay? Your advice is not to take the reins on this one, not to take control of this one. I don't know if you ever take control necessarily and it doesn't ever come off as control, but 
that desire usually comes from you, you end up getting burned. Don't do that. That's what it's giving me. Okay, now I'm going to do some general predictions for cancer. What's going on generally for cancer? You get general predictions for cancer. Cancer, I'm seeing a vacation being planned within the family. I feel like it, it'll be a good vacation for others of you. This is you traveling for some maybe work situation here, but I'm seeing travel. So this could be travel when it comes to work more than anything is what I'm picking up on. I'm seeing it, whatever you're traveling for, for work, whatever, if there's an issue, if that's just part of your job description that involves traveling, I'm seeing that being very good. I'm seeing that things turn out very good for you. So whatever that means, this being tied to a male, female, it doesn't matter. I'm seeing both genders here. So if you are involved in something with your partner or your husband, wife, whatever, I'm seeing everything turn out good when it comes to something work related. If you have some kind of a court case, I'm not allowed to give you any financial advice and I won't, but I will tell you that it looks like if you're involved in a court case, it looks like it's just going to take longer than expected. General predictions for cancer. There could be some inheritance money coming your way. I'm seeing maybe um, money you didn't know was there. It, it kind of shows off. Maybe there's like a, a death in the family or something and it's distant. I don't, I'm not seeing a death in the family. Oh my God, cancer, you're going to be destroyed. No, I'm not seeing anything like that. I'm seeing maybe this happens and it's someone very distant where you might not have too much communication with this person, but either you get some kind of good luck from that situation. I don't know if it's money or something. And then people around you start to want that from you. Now, if this isn't as a result of some kind of a death, this could be as a result of some kind of ending of a relationship. This could be you getting a divorce if you're married and you splitting the assets. It could be something like that also. So take that how it resonates. That's what I'm getting. The ending of something resulting in money and it being good for you. And then when that happens, be careful because there's going to be people around you who want what you have. Or if you are getting divorced, and I feel like it could be your ex just, you know, being in their feelings about having to split stuff. That's, I'll be honest with you, Cancer. If you ever get married, get a freaking prenup. These people be doing so much. Mm-mm. You definitely have a relationship coming your way, a very successful relationship coming your way if it's not here already. And children, if, uh, if you don't have kids already, is what I'm seeing for this next relationship. I also see you attracting possibly someone with kids. And... It, it might not be the best situation in the very beginning. I'm getting like a situation here that if you're not in the relationship, you could meet someone with kids. It could start off a little bit rocky. And I say a little bit rocky because 
of this person not having the best outlook on love. Yeah, it comes off like this person communicates with you their bad experiences and their fears. It shows up that way. Beautiful energy, though. This person has really amazing energy. It just shows up as them being scared and kind of like, you know, in the beginning. So that is what I'm getting. Let me get one more prediction. Anything else for cancer? Well, you know what? I already got this for you. There could be a change in your employment. There could be a change in your unemployment. Or, you see, I said a change in your unemployment. So if you're unemployed, I'm seeing you getting a job that could be quite of a distance from you, but I am seeing you getting a lot more money than you expected from this position, so that's a really good thing. Um, others of you, I'm, I'm just seeing a job change. I'm seeing a job change and if you're looking for a job that requires you to move, I'm seeing that too. So it all depends on what you're looking for. But that's what I am getting for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for me. I would really appreciate it. Once again, if you are interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and take what resonated and if nothing resonated that's okay not all readings are going to resonate check your other placements and i hope to see you next time bye